and then I just like to do silly stuff like that you see it's inverted now look at that okay now I'm gonna come out of it how was that that was great that was great Hello and welcome to Motion RC, here with a extra flight review on the uh, now very well known and loved uh, 90mm F22. Now the reason we've got this out here today, first of all it's on grass and we realise that a lot of our customers do fly off tarmac and asphalt, but a lot more of them probably fly off of grass and I want to show you just how grass capable the F22 is. Also this is the 8S setup, now you can still fly this, uh, the 6S setup uh, on grass no problem. I just like a little bit more poke with my 90 mils, so the ATS is a uh, worthwhile upgrade. Tom, I know you have the ATS one and you really love it. I love it. Yeah, we're going to fly those together maybe later once the cameras have stopped rolling. But for now, I'm going to focus on grass capable ATS setup. Um, what I've also got here is um, some a little modification. Now, this is actually based on Tom's recommendation. Uh, I wanted to, I, sorry, I didn't want to, I was advised that we should take out some of the bounce of the model. Now, the springs that are in each of the audios, what that means is just that they're a little bit too, um, what, too firm, right? Too firm, right. Too firm, yep. so you need to loosen them up. What we've done, and you can see it in this footage playing over here, on the uh, mains we take out, I think it was three, Free springs. springs. Yeah, yep. springs. So you yep. just get a pair, you take the oleo apart, as you can see from the footage. You get a good pair of snips and you snip approximately three rings off of each of those springs. And then for the nose, I think it was two, right? Yep, two correct. Two little rings off of the nose spring. You want to be sure to lubricate it with a, a silicon based Teflon. Teflon. Teflon based uh, lubricant. And what that's done now, and I've flown it already, and you'll see when it uh, lands and takes off, it's just that much smoother. What it doesn't do, it doesn't bounce back. That energy doesn't transfer from the ground back up into the plane. So it's much smoother, and especially on grass, <coughs> excuse me, I find that very, very helpful. So you've seen from that uh, footage that's played over how that's done. And uh, now with the gear modified, it's really really good on the ground we're going to go ahead with the run cam on and give you a, uh, an extra flight review of the ATS setup just in the duration of the pack and Tom I think around three and a half four minutes yep we're both running the Admiral uh, 5004 S's uh, you can you run the 6000s I just like it a little bit lighter on the uh, on the 5000s so in the flight we'll do uh, fast we'll do slow uh, we'll do some silly stuff on the sticks because um, the F22 is not something I would typically go for myself. I really like those classic first gen jets, but you can really do some fun stuff with this. Um, there are technical names for it, but for me it's just stick bang, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And it's a very forgiving airplane. So let's get the run cam rolling, and Tom, we will do the flight review extra on the ATS F22. Great. Now, as ever with EDFs, I like to conserve as much uh, battery as possible. So I always get a little bit of exercise and walk them out. So we're ready to go. Uh, I'm going to take up on mid flaps. That's typically your setting for yep. takeoff. I should explain Tom's flown his F22 a lot more than I have this one, so that's why I'm uh, seeking his counsel on this. All right, so we're on mid flaps. We're going to let the speed build up, and then away she goes. Taking off. Tom? Yep. Alright, let's get it trimmed out. Let's first we'll do a fast pass just so you guys can see how the ATS looks. Coming around. That is a very unusual shape in the sky. Fast pass, full throttle, ATS. Here it comes. Whoa. A little bit more drag with that camera on it had to do with like some kind of communications pod. But look at that. Full vertical. Very nice. Now I'm going to bring it round, and I'm going to roll in the background. How's that, Tom? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. This is power off this pass, power off. That is still. Power off. All right, so that's the ATS speed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it up, and like I said, I just I like to do stick banging with this. This thing can be aerobatic, you know, just like a, a fast you know, jet, or straight line jet. But if you get it up, and you go into high rates, which I've done now. Tom, how's that? It's good. And then I just like to do silly stuff, like that. You see, it's inverted now. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to come out of it. How was that? 
That was great. That was great. Now, don't ask me how I got into that. That was just <laughs> stick banging magic. But didn't it look cool? That's what I like about this thing. It looks like a support doing yeah, thrust right reverse. Yeah. All right, that was uh, mid floral pass there. Let's take it up and do some more of that stuff because that was fun. Now I will, oh. uh, are you right Tom? Yep. Now I did go into full flaps just to make sure I had enough to recover from there. Let's do a slow roll. Nice, how's that? Good. All right, now I'm gonna go full up and then, what do we call it, high alpha? Let's try and do. Oh, oh, yeah, just stick banging, look at that. I'm basically just stalling it at that point. Holding, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm stalling it and then just letting it ride down on the stall. And it's such a unique shape that it's actually a lot of fun. How did that look, Tom? That's great, did man. you get it? Yep. All right, fast pass. Yes, HS is the way to go. Now this is a grey plane on a grey sky, so I hope you can see this. Should we try another one of those stick banging maneuvers, Tom? Yep, see let's do it. Okay, ready? Pull up and then rolling over. Kind of just gonna stall and then, nope. Oh, there we go, uh, kind of lost it there. All right, let it pick up speed. Well, anyway, the point being is you can really get it, get it up high, absolutely and then go into high rates and just explore with it. It can be a lot of fun. Let's do a loop right here, Tom, you ready? Great. This is an ATS loop from level. Lovely, 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 as big as you like. Coming round, coming round, easing out of it, power off, then on the power again, rolling out of the end. Lovely. Another fast pass this way, I think, Tom? Yep. All right, here she comes. Downwind, fast pass. Yeah, it looks good. And then as your confidence builds, you can really, really play around with it and really bank in there. I'll do it here. And that's the thing, you won't see many 90 mils that can maneuver in such a space as this one. I'm blipping the throttle a bit, keep a bit of inertia. And Tom, here I come, you ready? Straight towards yep. the camera. And up. Love it, and they're rolling off the top, barrel roll off. Look at that. I'm going to bring it into land now because I don't want to get too low on this. It's not the type of model you want to land on dead stick, I have found. It is a pussycat, but not that much of a pussycat. There's the landing light that really, really helps. I'm on mid-flap now, coming in a bit hot. So let that bleed off. Actually, I'm going to go around. Go around. Now that's a good demonstration of just how that 8S uh, thrust comes into play. On a 6S, you may have struggled a bit there. So I'll do one more pass here, Tom. Actually, you know what? We've got a little juice. I'm gonna do a low, low power setting. So just do a quick low power pass. You can see just how stable it is. I'm about a third throttle now. Mid flat. Lovely, now bring it back round. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it into land. Gears coming down. Yeah, hi son. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, my son has just come out and let everybody. Silas, I'll be with you in a minute. They always, they always pick the worst time. I know, Silas. Yep, thank you. I'm just landing now. All right, here we go. Let the speed bleed off a little bit more. And this is looking good. Nice and steady. Flare, 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 flare. Still a little bit long. Nice. But look at that. Virtually no bounce. Like I said, there's lots of exploring to be had on this airframe. I'm still getting used to it myself but you can really bang the sticks and have fun. Um, so check out the ATS version of the F22 90mm jet from Freewing. As you can see, very, very grass capable. It's available at motionrc.com and EU. And now I need to go to tend to my son because something's broken. So I'll see you next time.